The basics of the MCHAT are F. We will cover all the basic information in this video. What is the MCHAT RF, who and when to screen, why you should screen, as well as where and when to screen. We will also show where you can find more information about the MCHAT RF and autism spectrum disorder screening. What is the MCHAT RF? MCHAT RF stands for Modified Checklist for Autism and Toddlers Revised with Follow-Up. It is a no-cost screener for autism spectrum disorder risk and is available in more than 40 languages. The MCHAT RF is comprised of 20 initial questions with matching follow-up flowcharts for each of those initial questions. Who and when to screen using the MCHAT RF? The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that screening for autism spectrum disorder should occur for all children at the 18 and 24 month well child visits specifically. Importantly, the MCHAT RF can be reliably used in children aged 16 to 30 months, which covers the recommended screening visits at 18 and 24 months. Why screen for autism spectrum disorder specifically? Screening children for autism spectrum disorder at the 18 and 24 month well child visits helps lead to a lower average age of an autism diagnosis. Currently, the average age of a child when diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder is four years old. By making sure that we are screening children at the 18 and 24 month well child visits, we are more likely to identify children with autism spectrum disorder or other developmental disorders earlier. Evidence indicates that early identification leads to early intervention, which leads to better functional short and long-term outcomes for both children and families. Last, in Louisiana, Medicaid will now reimburse providers for conducting autism spectrum disorder screening. The reimbursement value of $10 for each screen is available when using the 96110 CPT code during billing. What you should consider when integrating autism spectrum disorder screening with the MCHAT RF into your practice. We recommend conducting the initial screen either in the waiting room to be handed out by front desk staff or in the exam room by medical assistants or nurses. Scoring, follow-up flowcharts, and discussing results should always occur in the exam room between physicians or nurse practitioners and the family. Typically, scoring the initial MCHAT R takes about one minute. If the follow-up flowcharts are needed, such as when a moderate risk score between three and seven is reported on the initial screen, that process can take around five to 10 minutes. Here is where you can find more information on the MCHAT RF and autism screening. Check out our videos on how to score the MCHAT RF and using developmental screening resource guides with families, which we recommend using when a screen indicates a need for further evaluation or services. Check out the resources linked below for information on autism spectrum disorder, the MCHAT RF, and more, including our autism training page, which is a part of the developmental screening online toolkit, the Louisiana Medicaid Bulletin on reimbursement for autism, general development, and perinatal depression screening, and the MCHAT RF website where you can download the manual and find more information from the creators.